Dear parishioners of Jesus Light of the World, pleasure to talk to you again. It's been a number of weeks since we've had an info letter because Stefan Barrow, our communication director, has fallen ill and has also submitted his resignation um, as of last Sunday. So we no longer have somebody in charge. We've asked uh, Mrs. Gad uh, to take charge of it for the time being. And we thank her for her services. We pray for uh, and th thanksgiving to Stefan for his wonderful work. The uh, catechist with whom he worked just really loved him and the children very much and the families. He did a wonderful job. So Lord bless him. Lord bless him. We pray for good recuperation in his health. This is the Feast of the Trinity. And last week was the Feast of Pentecost Sunday. Uh, I'd like to thank all of those who last Sunday were involved in the family feast day in uh, planning out the food and the celebration and the liturgy. Uh, Deacon Francois Gilbert, thank you so very much. Jean-Francois Babylon, thank you for coordinating the event. And all those who were inv involved in whatever way, thank you to our youth who were so much involved. The Lord bless you all. It was, a, it was fun to have a celebration to get together. And I, it's been one of my deep convictions as a priest over the years that people need to have fun. Fun that's not going to cost them thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars, but just fun, simple fun. So I th our feast day was not expensive. Uh, it was fun, and I hope that you had a good time. We'll do it again. It's the Feast of the Trinity uh, this weekend, and I ask you to pray uh, for deeper insight of the power of the Trinity and the wonderful revelation of the Trinity. You know, when you see the exterior of somebody, you see the outside of somebody. Well, you know, you see their height and their shape and their and their uh, the color and so on. And you know, you can determine, you, you can have impressions of what somebody's like. But it's a very different thing for somebody to talk to you from their heart and to talk to you as a person. It's the revelation of the inner person, not the exterior person, the inner person. That's what the Trinity is really all about. It's God unveiling the inner life that is his. God in unveiling his inner person to us. Um, what he's really like. God is in his inner life is a Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Uh, the Son who is incarnate. The Holy Spirit who's living in our lives and our hearts. Uh, and revealing to us and molding us into the image of God. And so it's a great, great mystery, you know. And um, we... Uh, it takes a whole lifetime to begin to understand just even a little bit of it, you know. Um, so I pray that the Lord will really bless you with a deeper insight of the mystery of the Trinity. And one of the characteristics of the Holy Spirit is, is change. The Holy Spirit is always changing the church, moving the church forward, moving the, the parishes forward, moving our families forward, moving us forward. We don't like change, but change is in the air. It's part of life. The Holy Spirit is a spirit of change. You'll be noticing some changes in our parish. Well, now Stefan has left us, and there'll be, there'll be other changes as well. We pray that the Lord will give us confidence as we see changes in our parish, changes in our lives. The Holy Spirit is guiding us through all of this. Um, it can be destabilizing for sure, but we need to trust the Holy Spirit who's constantly guiding us, reassuring us, and whose main project is you, your sanctification of your own life in God. So may you have a blessed week as you think about and meditate on the mystery of the Trinity. The Lord bless you and your families and fill you with great hope. God love you.